Hi there guys, FS Gojo Mentos and we back again. Hope you guys are ready. As you guys know, usually during the weekend, that is when we do our planning and back testing for the week. So one thing we're going to be looking at today, guys, we're going to look at gold. We're also going to look at Euro USD, and we're also going to look at Euro AUD. So the first thing I want to do, guys, is analyze gold for you. I'm going to start obviously from a high time frame. So now one thing I want us to talk about before we continue, guys, is that there's a lot of people making money in the forest industry. And I don't believe in one type of trading, right? I don't believe in one type of strategy. You can always look around, do your own research and find what works best for you so what we're gonna do here guys is share with you how we view the market and what we're looking for going forward with the week so most of the time what i recommend is know that a lot of people do use tools some people use softwares you just have to do your own research or you can also use tools that are used by professional traders that you see that are being profitable or traders that you follow and you like their strategy so what i do before i start analyzing guys is price action but before using price action obviously i'm gonna go to the fsco strategy wait for it to load and then from here i'm just gonna switch all my settings as you guys know i'm gonna come here so we're gonna remove all the buys and sells i don't need them because you guys know we're really professional traders we don't need any of those things it's basically there to help beginner traders so since i'm not a beginner i just want to know what is my supply and demand and what to look for going forward then from there i want to highlight my trading levels right so from here i can see from overall time frame we do have an overall high over here of which that is our resistance and at the bottom here we have our overall support you can see for the time being guys since since 2020 right the market has been locked in and it's been playing inside this region over here so this has been currently our playground now moving forward we can see that the gold came to our very strong demand zone we can see that there's been a lot of buyers waiting here and gold bought from there so one thing i want you guys to understand is on a macro perspective you can see that gold has been on a bullish momentum so we want to see if we can be able to break these levels but already that also goes hand in hand with sentimental analysis and when it comes to market sentiment that is when we look at what is the majority doing and what is the minority doing so we use fundamental analysis we use technical analysis and we also use market sentiment now i want to come to the market and see exactly what i'm looking for moving forward now when i come from here guys you can see already here we are definitely in a new trend we are coming from a bullish trend you can see and now we are in a new bearish trend so now if i go to this bearish trend one thing i want to do is i want to be able to outline my trend and see exactly what the market has done so basically from here just looking at what happened from this perspective you can see this has been a very strong down training resistance the market actually broke out and we had some sort of a stop hunt or rather a test of supply zones because there's a pretty good structure here making this a supply zone area or rather what we call a resistance hence the market came to retest the market on the previous week has been very choppy a lot so these are the things that you need to be on the lookout for and be able to redefine your plan and prepare for the week going forward that's the thing guys when you analyze you need to understand what is happening in the market and you need to make sure that you respect the market because we always know that the market is the master so currently we can see we're still inside the bearish trend and we have some possibilities right so if i go to a more smaller time frame i want to see exactly what the market has been doing we can see that gold is touching the lows over here we want to see how strong are these lows by putting obviously our support area over here you can see this was obviously before a very strong resistance the market has been resisting these areas over here so we know the market is at a significant level but possibilities are the market can still try and test the levels over here those are the possibilities and we need to know of these possibilities if we're going to be trading gold so currently we can see from here that gold has hit this low over here it's possible that the market can still continue pushing towards the upside in this sense right you need to know the possibilities and you need to understand how sometimes the market works out you can see that because the market caught people with that breakout retest it's possible that the market could still continue trying to push towards the downside before we can look for those nice possible buys the market can do something like this before breaking outside but obviously guys you know that this is a possibility and should the market actually gain the momentum to break above this area and actually break outside this area then we know for a fact that we're going to look for overall buys because if we're able to break from there we're going to definitely look for a possible push towards the upside upon breakout retest that is a possibility that we have and overall as well if we have a retest of this level and the market continues pushing towards the downside let's say we break this area over here because you can see this is 
notice more of a trend line support so should be able to break this trend line support then obviously from these levels we can look for a possible push towards the downside on gold these are the possibilities that we have so usually what we do as well is we go to a smaller time frame because we know that the overall time frame shows us what is the market doing and the smaller time frame that is where we're able to look for our entry so we can see that there are a few possibilities that we spoke about but there's also a possibility for gold to actually push above and break outside so currently guys gold is still inside the bearish trend but if we're able to break outside this bearish trend we can start looking for possible bullish momentum so now i'm going to go to my market sentiment and if we come here guys you can see that gold has a majority of Bias. a lot of people are going long on gold so it's very possible for gold to test here and continue selling towards the downside which is obviously our possibility so one thing i always talk about guys is to make sure that you understand how a pair operates have one pair that you understand trade that pair for the day have a good risk to what ratio and have your entries upon retest and mostly don't always trade upon news release you would rather trade after the news so now secondly guys we're going to look at your usd the usd has been buying a bit i'm gonna remove all the analysis you can see we've been analyzing usd and it's been playing around a lot i'm gonna remove all the drawings and we're gonna start again from scratch so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start from a higher time frame and see what your usd is doing you can see currently looking at your usd we can see that we came from an overall bearish trend and we are now in a possible bullish trend so for us to confirm this trend we need to see if this is a possible bullish trend by actually testing our levels so we can see that it is probable that this can be a bullish trend because we have our highs and we have our lows right break below this level we'll obviously we'll look for sales all the way towards this level over here but as long as we're still inside this region here we're still looking for possible bias that is just looking at it from a macro perspective also again we know that we've broken outside this overall bearish trend so the market could be testing around these levels and this has been a demand zone because with a break of structure we had a demand zone so the market has a possibility of buying on our demand zone so there's a possibility of having buys on your usd so that is just a possibility right so moving forward guys remember what i like to do as well usually i clean my chart so once we go towards the smaller time frame like the one hour chart we can see that euro usd was indeed again coming from a bearish trend and we are now forming a possible bullish trend you can see it was a very strong bearish trend and the market was able to break outside now we want to see if we're going to be able to push towards the upside so now coming to where the market is currently right so when we come to the current market you can see that currently usd is playing around this level and what we want to see is we want to see usd actually crossing this previous high over here if we're able to cross this previous high this will confirm for us that we're going for overall buys and if we're able to cross below this level over here you can see that is most likely our strong support level we'll be able to go for overall sell so the market is at a deciding point for euro usd and the decision that's going to take from here will enable us to know what kind of position that we want to go with so now looking at usd in this level we can see that the market has been consolidating uh we also had our entry as well from this level over here so it's a possibility for the market to reach this level guys it's very possible for the market to reach this level and what we want to see is for us to go for overall buys right if you want to swing by we want to get outside this area so if you're looking for further buys you need to make sure that you are taking your entry upon breakout retest when we're taking our entries upon retracement so if we're able to break outside this area and get to retrace then it's definitely going to be a possibility for us to push towards the upside so that is a possibility that we have for your usd and if we are able to respect this resistance as we've seen this is a very strong resistance should the market break below this area we're going to continue looking for a push towards the downside but currently we can see we're in a small bearish trend and this is some sort of a retracement but we also had a very strong demand zone so the market is still deciding a break towards each level will continue with that overall direction for your usd but if we also look at what the majority is doing right you can see that the majority is actually going for south so we would want to go with the minority so the market is most more likely to buy if you obviously trading a smart money concept and we're able to trade understanding the market sentiment this can give us an edge in the market those of you who want to follow our journey make sure to click the link below and join our free group where we send our free trades and that is where you guys can benefit from us moving forward and able to enter these trades on live trading moving forward you can see we have covered mostly what usd can do you know further things that i can cover is basically you know touching base on small things if you're able 
able to break below this area here then it's very evident that we're going to continue looking for a push towards the downside because we have broken outside our resistance and we're going to look for a better push towards the downside that is basically what USD is looking at at the current moment now lastly as yes, we also want to look at euro AUD. euro AUD is a pair that you know we have swing it I've swung it for a bit. One thing I want you guys to understand is that being able to analyze the market and being able to be profitable from analysis is different. Learning how to analyze is just learning the technicals and learning how to be profitable is learning about consistency, about psychology and having the right mindset. You must accept that you won't be able to be rich within a few couple of months if you're starting with the Forex journey because trading is all about patience. And one thing that I've seen that is a killer of many dreams especially in the forex market is comparison don't compare yourself to anyone that is what's going to hold you back a trader's journey is a solo career if you're making hundred dollars a day that's great accomplishment for you don't start comparing yourself and that can destroy your mentality right you can start going off plan because you want to be like someone else and you know some things like that are possible there's also people who are making millions of dollars weekly right from the us and you know uk all over around the world even some people that we don't know about here in sa or anywhere around africa but our aim is to not compare because this is a self-development journey and it's going to be different for each and every one of us, right? So it's all about the experience. Just know that your next trade can give you your next four figures. So moving forward, guys, I'm going to remove all the drawings and we still follow the same recipe. We're going to go to a high time frame and look at what the market is doing. So this buy was very easy to catch. You can see over here, it has a very strong demand zone and we are still within our bullish area. We are still within the bullish trend that we can see so now going to a smaller time frame let's go to the four hour you can see that the market was pushing towards the upside with a strong bullish volatile movement and we've already seen where this trend come from so i'm going to remove this for now because i want to be able to independently look at what the market has been doing so currently guys what you can see from here what happened here this was our previous demand zone if you look at it from this perspective because previously you can see that we had some sort of a head and shoulder and a head and shoulder obviously guys is creating a demand zone because the break outside this area is a demand zone because here this is where we're looking for buys hence that is why the market was able to buy as well here so we can see that this was indeed a very strong demand zone over here and we do have our supply zone already labeled out there for us so currently guys looking at euro aud i won't be looking for sales until right until able to break outside this area i will still look for possible buys until we break outside this bullish trend so if you're looking for sales like i said guys trading is a patience game you will need to be patient because that sell will be a possible strong sell but the market will play around a bit try to stop out the impatient and the patient will most definitely benefit from such setups for the time being uh we can see that we're still within our weak highs over here if we're able to break above this area it means that the market is most likely to go to our next area over there right if we're able to continue with our bullish trend then we know for sure that this is what we can expect the market to continue doing if we're able to break those previous highs because you can see the market has been struggling with this high not only the first time but it's been struggling as well from the past, even here, even now. But if we're able to break above, I'm going to definitely take a second entry from here again and continue pushing towards the upside. And that is a possibility that we have for Euro AUD. So guys, basically analyzing the market is just preparing for the week. You need to know where the market is and you need to know where to find yourself. Now, lastly, guys, I'm showing you guys some of the things that we do. We see that the majority of people are still selling. Hence, we can see why Euro AUD has been buying. So that is also another thing to look at. We can see that the majority of people have been looking for sales and we are still looking for a possible bullish momentum because we would also want to go with the minority. At the end of the day, we need to know how strong this area is. If we are able to play around this area, and the majority start looking for buys we can definitely look for a possible sell this is how long it can take before we can have that sell the market can play around a lot if you're looking for a possibility right don't want it to be very easy like that but once the trade is ready for the overall direction you know for a fact that it will respect the trend it will respect direction it will respect our analysis currently guys we're in a small time flag right it's more like a flag so the sell can come 
the sell can come but it's also possibility of buys right the sell can come over here the market can still have a possibility of buying you know then from there you can have that possibility of a breakout retest and continue pushing towards the upside those are the possibilities that i'm expecting but i'm seeing that the market is most likely to sell from here if we break already from here then it's obvious that a break outside this area is just a continuation of a scalp trade to this area and then you're going to see if you're going to have a reversal like so and then we're going to continue looking for a push towards the upside so basically guys that is how we look at the market and that is what i want you guys to understand success is not always about being great it's about consistency it's about working hard to gain success we know that if you focus on the skill profits will come success will come that is the approach guys and we'll continue giving out those calls in our free group for those of you who want to see how these trades unfold be sure to click the link in the description below and join our free telegram groups and for those who've watched the video up until so far i would want to thank you guys once again this is fs coach your mentor signing out